The growth rate per annum for fish consumption is 3.1%, which is much higher than even the population growth rate. That's enough proof that we, collectively as a species, love fish. But what happens when there aren't enough fishes being produced to satisfy our demands? This leads to a serious problem of overfishing, which will further lead to decline in fish species and further shortage of food. That's a calamity that we've got to avoid. Overfishing is an alarming issue throughout the globe, and the solution to it is open sea fish farming or open sea aquaculture. Hello everyone and welcome to today's video on open sea fishing farms, where we'll evaluate the benefits and demerits of this method in an objective manner. We'll show you how lucrative this sector is and share some facts that you'll surely love. So stick by right to the end of the video while we take you on a journey into the depths of the ocean. What is open sea aquaculture? Open sea aquaculture is a sustainable method of producing large quantities of seafood for human consumption. It includes rearing marine animals beyond the coastal waters and its deep seas. In this way, the marine organisms get a more habitable and natural environment compared to closed cultures. This is still a new idea, and there's a lot left to explore and understand about this method. Open sea fishing farms are generally located quite away from the shores, so the environment is quite harsh. This concept, though innovative, has received both support and criticism. But before we move into the evaluation of this method, we'd like to show you what it is all about. This is the world's largest open sea fishing farm located off the coast of Panama. It is called Open Blue Sea Farms. There are large nets in the ocean where the fish can breed and reproduce. The fishes are fed well and allowed to grow in their natural habitat. This is what makes this method quite sustainable, and if followed well, it can be quite economical as well. The fish being reared here are cobia. However, similar operations can be expanded to increase the diversity of fish being produced as well. Implementing similar technologies, fish production can be scaled to much greater proportions. But what might be a boon for one species can become a bane for another. Open sea farms can help us rear a lot of fishes of certain species, but to rear them, we need to feed them. Bigger fish eat the smaller ones, and here lies the problem. Smaller fish, too, can be grown in open sea farms but as their supply increases, so does their demand as more of the bigger fish are being produced. So what now? Food for fish. Innovation in one sector has to be accompanied by innovation in the other sector to maintain balance. In this case, researchers from the Gothenburg-based company Siwatek have developed techniques to produce large quantities of fish food. Their idea is quite sustainable given that they use fungi to feed the fish and these fungi are grown on industrial waste. This even helps tackle the issue of waste disposal to some extent. As mentioned on their website, they offer environmentally friendly and sustainable processes based on microfungi belonging to the Zygomesitor group. That's quite an impressive feat, and this is going to revolutionize fishing. It seems like the blue revolution is quite near. So developments in food technology are going to aid open sea aquaculture as well. But for the farms themselves, we need to be quite technologically forward to ensure that the nets and systems last well in the harsh weather conditions of the oceans. Let's take a look at a leading company that is at the forefront of this technology. Technology for Open Sea Fish Farming For a successful venture, we need strong technological support, and one such company is providing the support is InnovaSea. InnovaSea provides clients with solutions and services for practicing open sea aquaculture. They help in the selection of sites and setting up of the equipment. Their solutions also aid underwater feeding and monitoring of the open sea fish farms. Open sea fish farms implement submersible technology and intelligent sensors. InnovaSea provides efficient underwater feeding systems, subsea communication solutions, and cloud storage, as well as software for controlling the devices and equipment. In fact, it was InnovaSea that helped Open Blue become the largest fish farm in the world. There are various forms of farms. We can have sea stations and evolution pens. The sea stations have been designed to specifically stay submerged, whereas the evolution pens are more versatile and can stay above water or below water depending on the weather conditions and sea waves. Managing and monitoring fish in both these systems is done using sensors and controls. However, one important and challenging task is feeding the fish. Let's take a look at the feeding systems that are used in open sea fish farms. As we can see, something that was just a dream in the past has become a reality presently. The immense development in the technology for open sea fish farms gives us quite a positive feeling about the scope of this in the future. The feeding systems are specifically designed to withstand the rough seas and are made to suit the sea stations and the evolution pens. If you enjoyed watching the video till here, please do like it. Let's take a look at another open sea farm which is known as Blue Island Open Sea Fish Farm. Situated at Dolus Cape, 
This farm produces 1,500 tons of fish per year. The fish farm is supported by modern vessels which moor at the Ark Roden Point, where the company has its own coastal mooring installations and land installations. They have a hatchery where the fish eggs reach the stage of a fish fry. Fish fry implies baby fish. And from here, they are taken to the farm where they grow to become adults. They receive good oxygen supply which contributes to the health of the fish. Open sea fish farms are becoming quite popular, don't you think? This surely must be a lucrative business. Though there is high initial investment that is required, this business is sustainable, environment friendly and lucrative. Well, we've seen the positive side of open ocean aquaculture, but every coin has two sides and this practice also has some demerits. Demerits of open sea fish farming. Over the years, this form of rearing the fish in the sea has been criticized by environmentalists. It might seem like a sustainable solution, but that is only possible if it is carried out correctly. As these farms are situated in the deep seas, there is a concern of them affecting the natural marine wildlife in the area. But keeping these concerns aside, there are some disadvantages that have to be tackled by the business operators. These are rough weather conditions that might damage the equipment eventually, hence requiring regular replacement and checking. Also, there is a concern of diseases. In the open sea farms, fish are located quite close to one another. This proximity increases the risk of quick spread of diseases, thereby leading to the loss of population and loss in business. To control the spread of diseases, some farms use genetically modified fish and also provide them with antibiotics. There isn't enough research done yet on the implications of consuming genetically modified food on humans. Hence, we cannot be sure whether this is really a healthy alternative for us or not. And finally, the issue of population control and population decline. As we had mentioned earlier, carnivorous fish eat small fish that are reared in fish farms as well. So there's a vicious cycle of meeting the increasing demand for small fish, such as sardines, as the carnivore species of fish are producing in more and more quantities. What are your views on this? Is open sea fish farming a positive step towards solving the food shortage crisis? Do let us know in the comment section below. We believe that this method is quite unique in itself and something that mankind had not even fathomed until recent years. With the emphasis on tackling the disadvantages, we're sure that there will be more environment-friendly fish farms in the future that rear healthy wild fish. Loving these innovative and mind-blowing ideas for the future of food production? Go ahead and subscribe to our channel for more videos. Press the bell icon so that you never miss an update. With this, we have come to the end of our video. If you enjoyed watching this video, please do like and share it. Subscribe to our channel for more content and press the bell icon so that you never miss an update. With that, we thank you for watching this video and we will see you in the next one. See you soon!